Michelle from Makeup a Breakup blog. I received a lovely surprise from Pacifica. And they're a 100% vegan and cruelty-free brand. They're a beauty brand. I, I love that Pacifica has sent this to me. I really appreciate it. I don't know at all what's in this box, but we're gonna look inside and check it out. I'm really loving the packaging. It came in this nice little like wrapping. So cute. All right, so let's see what's inside. There's a couple of things in here. The first thing in here that I pulled is their Pacifica 100% Vegan Cruelty Free Glowing Glycolic Acid Orange and Vanilla Makeup Removing Wipes. It already sounds yummy. Orange and vanilla. Mm. Yum. The next thing I see in here is from, oh, it looks like an eye palette. This is called Tiger's Eye. So pretty. Hemp infused eyeshadows. You read that in there? What? Hemp infused? Let's see. And these are the colors in the back that you can see kind of through the packaging. And this reads a combination of matte and shimmer eyeshadows in the most wearable colors. Hemp infused for a soft, smooth, talc free application. And so the colors are listed there as smoky quartz. And here is pebble and tiger underneath. And then the opposite side from top to bottom is sandstone, goldstone, and the bottom one is incense. Interesting color names. Every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters. Formulated without parabens, phylates, talc, or mineral oil. The first couple ingredients here though, the first one out of the bat is mica, because if you don't have talc, then most likely you might have Mica. The next one is magnesium stearate followed by silica. Mm hmm. There you go. And then something called caprylic or capric triglyceride. Does it have dimethicone? It has cannabis in here. Ha cannabis sativa hemp seed oil as number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the seventh ingredient, hemp seed oil. The sixth ingredient is coconut oil. The next thing in this lovely package is Enchanted Woods Micro Batch Perfume. That's unusual, like I've never, what? I didn't know they had perfume. I gotta try this. Enchanted Woods. And again, it's vegan, 100% cruelty free. This magical blend smells like a night in the woods with your favorite friend. Notes of juniper, bergamot, cardamom, geranium petals, smoky black veveter, I'm saying the right, but V-E-T-I-V-E-R, I'll put the ingredients there, um, and patchouli. Play around and linger in the air. Now, I happen to like patchouli. A lot of people I know don't, but, you know, if I smell it, I'm not totally, some people get totally like, oh, I can't, but I actually like patchouli. Um, they call it like a hippie fragrance, but I don't care. Um, Catching rides, okay, it says that it, this, all these ingredients play around and linger in the air, catching rides on the wind and playing in your dreams. So, some magical ingredients in there. I wonder, the packaging is really, really cute. Look at that. Ooh, and they also come out with, what, mascara too? Highish Lash Chronic Volume Mascara. Hemp fibers plus hemp oil, twisted vegan brush. And again, they put that they're 100% vegan, cruelty-free. The packaging is very celestial, I must say. Love it. Highest Lash, a hemp-infused ultra-black pigmented mascara that lifts and lengthens your lashes with hemp fibers. A patented twisted vegan brush delivers major volume and separates while it builds. Apply one coat for natural look or layer for more intensity. Nice. Every true beauty, and we can talk about the every true beauty knows that real beauty is inside. I did not know that they made this stuff. This is incredible. Oh, wait. Look at this. It's called Heart Chakra. Okay, now this is not something that I see every day. This is for the delicate chest area right by the bust line, right around there. Love it. This is body love for your delicate chest. I love it. 
Now it says here it has quartz, hyaluronic acid, ginseng, and lavender. It's for all skin types. I'm like, what? It's one single use, natural fiber sheet mask. Hmm. And it tells you on the back where to place it. You place it basically right above your bust line with the little part of the heart going almost in between the clefts of where your breasts come together almost in the center. Isn't that nice? So it says here, give your skin and your heart chakra some major love with rice protein, ginseng, hyaluronic acid, and lavender. Don't ignore the skin on your chest or your beautiful heart. Aww. Key ingredients to love your skin, quartz extract, which means they probably take some quartz, put it in water, leave it out in the sun, or do something to sort of extract the quartz's properties or elements, because quartz is a stone, so... I'm not sure what they mean by quartz extract unless they put it in some sort of liquid. Leave it in the sun to help extract some of the quartz's element. <laughs> Hyaluronic acid, we know what that is. Lavender oil, ginseng extract. P, meaning like a little P, P-E-A, like little rice and peas. It's actually peas and rice extract. You see that there? Okay, and cucumber extract. Mm. It sounds kind of yummy. So it says to gently unfold mask and place on chest. Kick your feet up, take deep breaths, and focus on sending love to your heart for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove mask and discard. Wipe your chest dry. Go out in this beautiful world as your best self. This is a concept piece, definitely. So I'll try it. It shouldn't hurt. Thank you, Pacifica, so much for this fantastic bundle. It, there's basically everything I need short of having a lipstick and a blush because I have the mascara I have something for my skin to cleanse as well as Relieve and send love to my heart chakra, which I really appreciate. I like that concept um, And I'm especially interested I think because I'm kind of surprised on the mascara as well as the heart chakra uh, piece that you lay here on your delicate chest area and I think I'm also interested in the perfume I didn't know Pacifica came out with so many eclectic pieces to their collection usually people just focus on you know skincare makeup like Pacifica is a brand that I've heard very good things about and again the, the push is for to let everyone know that they're 100% vegan and cruelty free which is great for a lot of us so I'm really excited to try some of this and I want to try that perfume because you know that's kind of interesting that you would just send a perfume because perfume is such a personal thing not a lot of people you know have the same taste in perfume so it would be interesting to see how that smells I'm gonna get my first impression on the perfume then Let's see how the bottle looks like oh how pretty see how pretty this is look at that it is made of glass so you have to be careful with it and it's a pump spray. It doesn't have like a lid to put on top. That's interesting. So you do have to be careful with this because it will evaporate. But if you keep it in a cool, dry place, it shouldn't be a problem. I like the, the bottle and the, you see it? It has a little moon there. Just put this against my shirt so you can see the heart. You see the, the moon there? Ooh, and the stars. So pretty. Oh. I think I can smell a little bit Let's see, I'm just gonna do this at a distance because, oh, it's a light mist. It's not hard. Okay. First impressions I get is the pine, definitely. Like it says. Oh, and I like this, there's a little blurb in here. I don't know if you can read that. And it reads as follows. Pleasure is the flower that passes remembrance the lasting perfume. I'll repeat that. Pleasure is the flower that passes remembrance the lasting perfume. That's really a nice saying. So I would say, yep, this is very nice. I think they have others. What does it say here? They say natural perfume blend with essential oils. Made in small batches using non-GMO corn grain alcohol. Formulated without parabens, phylates, and propylene glycol. 100% vegan and cruelty free. So there you go. And it's nice. I like it. So thank you. 
Pacifica for gifting me with these lovely products. I can't wait to try them. And I'm kind of digging the whole, your whole idea of what is behind Pacifica. And I'm loving that a lot of these products seem very natural and are very, seem to be gentle actually to the body as well as the mind. So it's, you know, every little bit helps as, as far as, you know, reducing our stress and, and keeping ourselves calm and creative and positive. I'm curious to try this. I'm gonna open this and see how this goes. See what this looks like. Oh, what cute packaging, look. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. See, there's the hemp symbol. <laughs> These look like eyes. That looks like a, the moon, stars maybe. Oh, so pretty. So I'm gonna, this is called the Chronic Volume Mascara because it's hemp based. Nice wink. <laughs> Let's see how this looks coming out of here. The smell is, it's kind of light, but it doesn't smell like a regular mascara. There's a little bit of a light, lightest, lightest scent to it. This is what the brush looks like. So it looks like a pipe cleaner in a way, typical. And now I'm going in. So I'm just gonna do one eye just to see how it looks. And I'm trying not to grimace or wink. I'm trying to get this baby on. Okay. Mm. Sort of like a swirl brush. Can you see the swirl on there? How it swirls? There you go. You see how it swirls there? Just put that in. I'll start off with this. This is in sandstone. Put this on as the base, and you see it's very pigmented there. I like that already. And there's some fallout. But again, nothing to be overly concerned about but I love that I can get this in here because then it can brighten the inside here tend to have a bit of shadow in there there we go nicely and I'm gonna go in with this color just because you know I want to try something different this is incense and I'm just gonna go right here into the upper part of my lid since I am heavy hooded or heavy lidded so I like to put it right above my crease and then blend it in I think on the eyes, I'm gonna use this same incense color because I am loving it. I don't know, it's just, it's the deepest color in there. And for some reason, I'm like, it reminds me of chocolate. I'm really fiending for some chocolate. I'm trying to be good and not have any. I'm really liking this look. <laughs> I like it. The 
Pacifica Tiger Eyes eyeshadow blends very nicely. I didn't have to fight with it. And uh, I would say I, I really do like it. I really do. It would have been great if they had like an olive green in here because sometimes when you look at Tiger Eyes, even though there's a lot of brown in there, there and I mean they have the gold they have some yellow they have some but it would also have been nice if they had just a little bit of like like a deep olive green that had a shimmer that would have killed it or even they just kept the shimmer that is and just had one that was like a deep olive green it would have killed but as far as that I think this is a beautiful set um, it's a little on the tiny side but these things are cute you're able to pack them and take them with you this you have to be careful with because this isn't hard it's soft so you need to pack this in something so nothing gets in there to break this or land on it when you're traveling so you may want to put it in a sturdier case this is Dawn Michelle thank you so much for joining me here on makeup or breakup vlog and let me know in the comments below what you have tried from Pacifica and what has worked for you I believe they also have shampoos and stuff which this is all new to me I definitely have to see now now that Pacifica was so kind to give me this lovely sneak peek, what else they have in their line. So let me know in the comments below what you have received from Pacifica and what you think I could, should be trying out. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you will know when my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching and uh, for joining me on my latest makeup adventure. And I will see you on the next makeup adventure. Take care. Bye.